What's up ladies and gentlemen, today I will be talking about an amazing trick that I found and apparently this entire week is devoted to random tricks I guess. Yesterday I talked about YouTube and of course today, depending on what day I upload this, I will be talking about how to delete Apple stock apps and this is a random glitch that I found like many others in iOS 7 but this glitch is actually helpful. So. Um, I'm not really talking about applications like camera or music, you don't need to delete those because then you'll mess something up, so don't do that. I'm talking about those anno that annoying application, such as Newsstand, or even if you, you don't use Passbook, then that's another annoying application that's just wasting space and just can't get rid of it, and even a folder wastes space when you put it in that folder. So the best idea here is to attempt to delete them, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. And it's actually simple, it may seem complicated at first, be sure to watch this video again from where I start, which is in 3, 2, 1, in case you don't get it. Alright, so let's get it. go ahead and do this. So first off, you are going to hold down the application, which in this case is Newsstand, and a uh, few things I should mention, this entire screen right here should be filled up with apps, otherwise it won't work, and anything you want to delete needs to be in the dock below, sorry I didn't mention that earlier. Well, let's go ahead and continue for that 900th time. So I'm going to hold this down, and I'm going to click the do double click the home button twice. And for some reason it didn't work, so let's go ahead and try that again. Voila. So nothing big happens here, but when you go back to the home screen, this whole application called Newsstand has officially blurred out, bulged out, gotten bigger, and is not shaking like all the other applications, and you're going to wonder why. Well, that's perfectly normal. You can continue on to the next step, which is open up a folder which, ahead of time I should mention, needs to be on your home screen right here. And let's go ahead and do this. So I'm going to open that up, voila, go back out, click the home button once, as you can see it's even more bulged down, Safari's sort of going crazy and doesn't know what to do with that, so I'm going to click the home button once, and oh my god, just like that, newsstand has disappeared, gone, off the charts, and now don't worry if you accidentally delete newsstand and then your grandma comes over and she's like, oh my god, I want to use newsstand, I don't know why that would ever happen, but in case it ever does, then you can go into settings and refresh all your apps and icon settings, not really icon settings, but like icon layout, and it will bring back newsstand. But for now, this is the best way to get rid of those annoying applications, and I hope you didn't mess some things up um, in case I did. Let me just mention the three things that need to be done before you go ahead and try this on your own. Number one, this entire thing needs to be filled up. Number two, anything you want to be de uh, anything that needs to be deleted needs to be down here. I'm not planning on deleting camera music or Safari. Those are just the applications I usually have down there. So don't worry, all four icons will not disappear at once. Only the one you have right there in that little corner. And finally, you need to have a folder on your home screen. So I hope you enjoyed that video or maybe got something out of it um, in case you want to delete new stand like I've been wanting to do for a long time. If so, leave a like so other people can see it and use this trick to their advantage just like you will be doing soon enough, hopefully, otherwise this was, sorry to say, a waste of your time. Um, uh, please don't leave a dislike if you're in a bad mood in case, um, instead leave a comment and I'll try to cheer you up like I always do. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for this video, I hope you enjoyed it, thank you for watching, this is me, logging off.